All right, so really easy video today. We're going to be going over how to make your own Nintendo Wii theme. Um, it is a little time consuming, so, you know, I mean, that's that. But other than that, it's really easy uh, if you know how to read and follow directions. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I do want to address, make sure you have Preloader installed. If you do not have Preloader installed, I will link a video in the description, uh, and you will install it. You want to recover your Wii if you brick it, because you can brick your Wii while doing this. When you open up some of these programs, it will tell you you can brick your Wii. So install Preloader, and everything will be good. So let's go ahead and get started. Nintendo Wii, jump into Tools, Theme Editors. All right, so here's what we're going to be dealing with. Pretend that the Wii theme base pack up here and the Stuff and Things folder does not exist. You will be getting this program right here. You will be getting this right here, and you will be getting the theme me mod. They will all be in zip files, so you will have to open them all. Um, but yeah, so make sure you save this. I know a lot of people, uh, some stuff for me, I'll put zips in a completely different folder, but I know that a lot of people delete them afterwards. Make sure you save this one, because every time you go to re-edit your theme, if you want to just have a basic one with just, you know, colors changed, you would have to reinstall a whole new theme base pack so that you could go off that unless you wanted to edit your old one. So Let's go ahead and look into the theme base pack here. So all of these are just pictures. It just shows what you see on your Wii. Let's go ahead and go into cursor here. So, oh, it looks like in my old one I didn't extract a new one. Here is my new cursor. Except for I think this one might be... Yep, that's an 87 by 87. So back into theme editors, perfect. So here is my new cursor because for some reason it got saved to an 87 by 87 when I rotated it. Um, should now be a 64 by 64. So that's what the cursor is going to be. So we'll copy that. We'll hop back into theme editors and there and here. And we will paste it. So that is our new cursor. Now if we go ahead and let's say the health screen, the flashing image that appears, I have two of those. That's what I'll be editing in the video is, is these two right here. Uh, just to give you a feel of editing pictures, it's going to be the same down the entire line. You're going to need to check the properties. These are 608 by 456. So you will need to make sure that you have an image that size, and you have to rename it to that exact image. Oh, that exact right there, flashing image. And then the static background, we all know what that is, the warning and safety. So we will go back to stuff and things. Copy. So like I said, these are the only two I'll be editing in the video. If you go down the entire line, like, you know, disc channel here, GameCube disc, Wii disc, if you want to make it an Xbox 360 disc, just, just because you can, um, go into the GameCube loader. That's what pops up on the screen while you're loading it. So it's the same thing all the way down the line. Channels. You'll get static channels with these, so... This will actually be moving somewhat, it'll look like. The clock, you can change the digits of that to whatever you want. If you want to use Roman numerals, you can. Uh, and that also brings me to another thing. So let's jump back to our cursor and open it. As you can see, it is 100% transparent in the background. If you find an image that you like, and you want to use it on this, and it has like a transparent background, say, like let's go back to uh, the health screen here. This right here, this picture actually was made using an online picture editor called Lunapic. Just Google it, I think it's like lunapic.com or .net, I think it's .com, but it's a really, really good picture editing website. You can do anything transparent, you can... Um, for, you know, change picture formats from JPEG to PNG to GIF to whatever you want. 
It's free. It's online. You don't have to download anything. Well, obviously, you'll have to download your base picture to go off of, but um, resize them, blah, blah, blah. That's actually what I use to resize both of these for the health screen. So there's the pictures. We've basically, I mean, we've talked about <laughs> pictures. You need to find the exact size and what you want, and you put it in the same folder uh, that it's supposed to go in and rename it to what it was set to. And uh, yeah, that's how you do the pictures. So now let's jump into the BRLYT editor. Run. I don't know why I hit to always ask, but. All right, so we need to set our BRLYT path. Now, if you remember looking at this folder, it's right here in the theme base pack. So let's go ahead and set it. So we need to jump down to here, here. Tools, theme editor, all right, and again, not going to go through and edit everything here, um, SD channel, we're not going to be going into the SD card for this tutorial, it's not really a big deal, inside the channel is not really a big deal, um, mainly we're just going to focus on the main menu, and, uh, I mean, everything after that is the exact same thing. You're going through, you're picking a color, you're picking what you want to do. Um, some of it's going to take a bit of, you know, updating, fixing, blah, 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 because you might not like it. You might have thought, oh, I thought this was the outline to something else. But, yeah. So, anyways, if anybody's ever seen a custom theme before when you hover over it, a lot of times a little box spins around it. That is what the spinner effect is. So we can have a fast spinner or a slow spinner. I'm going to put fast because my other one has slow. So let's begin here. I'm going to kind of go with a green theme to go with, uh, obviously, my channel logo. But you can do whatever you want. You open up a color picker there, and here's what you're presented with. You can do multiple colors. You can do custom colors. Um, I'm just going to go with a basic green. Okay. New information's been written. And now it's going to, every time you pop up, it's going to go back to your old and new color, the last color you used, which I find is very nice. And actually, with that one, I wanted to make it a little bit transparent. So we'll do that, which means the next one I'm going to have to... Um, Go back to not as transparent, but it's not a big deal. So the channel border. Let's put the channel border white. Or a lightish gray. We'll just do that right there. It's almost white, but it's not. Won't look so plain and boring, but it'll still... I oh, didn't even pay attention to what that was to the channel spinner. I think I want to make the channel spinner black. The main button border will do it black. The clock. Clock can be green. The text before clock can be black. The date, we will do, let's do a dark green. New message indicator, we are going to do red. All right, so that is the same thing down the line. Maybe we will do an inside channel, just a few of them. So disk channel, background. Let's do dark blue. We'll just change a couple of these.
All right. So let's say now we want to save it. And again, not getting into a whole lot of detail here because I don't want to, this video could go on for hours if I was to try to make a custom theme because I go into a lot of detail, um, especially with PS3s, but Wii's, it's, yeah, there's a lot more to do with Wii's than there is PS3s, so. Anyways, custom MYM name. Create MYM. It has been created at theme editors. So we jump back here. That's our MYM file. That is our theme. We can now close this. Theme mod. Jump in, launch the application. Jump back over this way. Drop that into here. Once the green bar has loaded all the way to the end, we know that we are good to go. Create CSM. Oh, oops. This is where we're opening the app file. Excuse me. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention. So, what you're going to need to have here is the 00000097 app file, which is right here for me. So, I jump into this. All right. Now it's going to let us create our CSM file. And we will just save that to the desktop. I will also be including this uh, file in the video. Uh, this is for NTSC Wii's only. So if you have a PAL Wii, you're going to have to find a different app file or it will not work. So, it's going to ask us now if we want to save the MYM file. I always say no, because we already have the MYM file. We saved it from the other program. So, we'll go ahead and hit no. We can now exit out of this. Do you want to save it? I already told you guys no. So, there is our theme, guys. There is our CSM file. Now, what we're going to need to use is my MyMenuFy and install it. So, let's go ahead and jump over to the TV, and we will get it installed. All right, and so here we are back on the Wii. Now, as you can see, I already have a custom theme installed here. Let's go ahead and jump into the Homebrew channel. And I will also be including uh, the My Menuify um, app as well. So put that on your SD card in the Apps folder, and it will pop up right here on the Homebrew channel. So let's go ahead and load it. All right, and also um, create a folder on the root of your SD card titled CSM. You don't have to. You can store them wherever you'd like. It's just easier to find them right there. Remember, guys, install preloader. Please install it. We can now exit, and again, this menu is just a quick thrown together one for the video, or this theme, so um, don't expect anything fancy. It's just to kind of get everybody started, it's a really easy to follow video, I try to include as much information as possible, um, so and here's what I'm talking about with the uh, frames of the Wii, they're all static. So depending on what you wanted to do, um, what I have done, if you actually go ahead and delete all of those and make a, uh, you can do any color you'd like, if you want to do it half transparent green or light black with green, you can actually make the word Wii pop up, go W-I-I -I and then blank and then keep going back and forth and back and forth because every picture in there is it's in a frame, so it's going to play picture one, picture two, picture three, picture four, and loop back, and that's how it's getting the static effect here. So, um, yeah, like I said, just a quick thrown together video. There is our uh, pointer.
that we had changed in the video. Let's click on WeMC. There's the blue that we had set, which will obviously get changed. I just wanted to set something different than green. That way, you know, you guys get a better understanding of what's being changed. So that has changed it for every channel. And there was the red that I had set. Let's go ahead and turn it off. And back on. probably change that black, but other than that it looks fine. The black, I don't know why all the, along the edges it's on this video, uh, it's not on my TV, and my TV is not zoomed in, so that's a layer. But yeah, I'll probably go ahead and change the uh, the black lettering for that, but that's that's that, that's your, uh, your startup. Go ahead and press A, and then we're back into our theme. So, it was a really easy video. I hope that you guys did enjoy it. I hope uh, I'll see some awesome themes from some of you if you watch the video. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and like it. Leave a comment if you did. If you have any questions, any problems, uh, anything of the sort regarding this video or one of the, well, the only video, because I'm going to link the preloader video in the description. If you have a question over any of that, let me know. Uh, but, yeah, have fun. Hope to see some awesome themes from you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.